An Idaho nurse who made the decision to travel to New York during the height of the pandemic there has decided now to travel to California, which is dealing with a major surge of the virus. Semi trucks filled with bodies, gurney after gurney, and sheer exhaustion. Those are just some of the things Debbie Wilder saw when she traveled to New York last year to help frontline workers in what was then considered the nation's coronavirus epicenter. I kind of equate losing a loved one to COVID is, is similar to losing a loved one to suicide and until it happens to you, you can't wrap your head around it. Now she's getting ready to do it again, but this time in Southern California. They're desperate for critical care nurses. Debbie is a registered nurse in Boise. On Friday, she'll drive to Los Angeles County to work in an intensive care unit in Baldwin Park. She says her experience in New York was intense and eye-opening, and she does have some post-traumatic stress after working there. But she feels she can still help, and that's why she's decided to go where there is the most need right now. I think a lot of the nurses, especially in the critical care and ER areas, are, they get overwhelmed and burned out, and I think just having somebody show up that is there specifically just to help them out, you know, helps with their morale and, and it makes me feel like I'm doing something worth, worthwhile. Debbie will be in California for 13 weeks. She hopes her time in New York has prepared her for whatever awaits her in L.A. I think I'm more realistic. Um, when I went to New York, I had no idea what I was going to be seeing. And, and I think like a lot of folks, um, I was thinking that, you know, COVID was like H1N1 was when it first came out years ago. And so I, I know what to expect more so now. I just hope that I'm more mentally prepared for it, for what I'm going to see this time.